So our ego is to serve our journey to wholeness. And that's a step that we need to make. People going through spiritual emergencies are making that step for us. They should be celebrated and the stories should be not, oh, you know, how close is this, this to this, whatever. These are people that are moving forward, evolutionaries. We're on the evolutionary edge. And maybe that's what the emphasis we need to put on this. People are already dropping out of these um, strong ego structures and starting to try and move into something like that. That's a natural progression. So, our biology, our universe, and our connectivity. How will that connect up? How are we going to do it? How can we even begin? Well, what's beautiful is there's a whole room full of people here that are already talking about the same thing. We're relatively on the same page. We're not even agreeing that these sort of things are useful for our society. So in the ways that we go back into our communities, maybe that's some of our work could be about making those links more coherent. You know, we are the world and the world is us. If anyone's ever read the work of Amy Mindell, um, uh, Meta Skills, The Spiritual Art of Therapy, beautiful book. I studied with her for many years and she would say the, the, how the world lives in us and how we live in the world and she would talk about that as a reciprocal relationship and she lives that very congruently, I will add. A very lovely woman, a very creative woman as well. And so meeting that evolutionary edge. Now one of the things I love about edges is it's great. You can say oh, I've been doing some edge work but you see this edge here I mean, I can walk around the edge, and that's really important, and that is edge work, because you're getting used to this world and what's over there. But at some point with edge work, there comes a point when you step, and it, no one should say how long anyone should stay on that perimeter, you know? But getting used to the perimeters is part of our work, and that's what we're talking about here today. We're talking about people that are coming close to that edge and going over it and finding out what that narrative means. And here's a lovely, um, from Ken Robinson, who's an educationalist, but you know, we shouldn't necessarily always think that therapists, psychologists, and all that are the ones that have got the answers, e ecologists, educationalists, but listen to this. To make the best of our time together on this small and crowded planet, we have to develop consciously and rigorously our powers of imagination and creativity within a different framework of human purpose. I think that's the most beautiful thing. I was at the Hay Festival two weeks ago, and so, um, some really good uh, speakers, there was a panel of speakers looking at climate change, and they said, what's the way forward? They said, the imagination. We need to capture our imagination for how we go forward. So there's something for us to think about. How do we go into that? I've already spoken about dreams and the unconscious and our imaginative symbolic responses. Wonderful. So we're there, we've already got the, the work to do, but we don't necessarily all have to jump at once. We might go on that perimeter for some time, but time isn't really um, uh, a luxury in, in the way that, um, for instance, the way the Arctic is, is, is melting. Some parts are getting more frozen as well, which is paradoxical, but I think they say that happens in complex systems. It doesn't run to a, a nice steady pattern. Complex systems get complex and things pop up unexpectedly. Some bits are getting more frozen, some bit, bits are dropping off quicker than we would imagine. But someone quite conveniently went off and made a little um, snow <laughs> word called doing in the snow. And so what are we going to do about that? Maybe that's what we need to think about, transformative action. And I've written about that in a paper like Transformative Action in the Service of Collective um, Awareness. That's, that's where I think we can start to make some useful inroads. Here's Ram Das from the first journal of uh, transpersonal psychology in 1970. Everything you do, whether you're cooking food or doing therapy or being a student or being a lover, nice. You're only doing your own being. You're only manifesting how evolved and conscious you are. Doing your being. That's lovely. Put knowing in there. Put becoming. Put belonging in the mix. Then we have a really good discourse for how might things look in the next evolutionary step.